beautiful people, today I'm going to be talking you through some things to see and do in the summer only in the UK because I live in the UK and I'm most familiar with the UK um, but you know this can apply to like the US and like abroad countries so uh, yeah let's just get started by the way I know my hair looks a mess right now but it is super hot and I just kind of wanted to throw up in a ponytail, so that's why my hair's up today and off. Uh, so, yes, let's get started. I have some notes on my phone, so if I keep kind of looking down, that's why. Uh, I'm going to start with the most obvious one, theme parks. I know that theme parks can be so busy throughout summer. Um, they can be rammed with people, they can be overcrowded. But if you pick the right day to go, then... Uh, you might just get lucky, I suppose. I don't know. I feel like summer is It's not really a bad time to go to theme parks <clears throat> But you know, it's like they can get very packed So if you don't really like that then try and pick like a day where you think oh Many people won't be there on that day. Let's go on that day um, I usually like to go on a Wednesday because, I don't know, just something about Wednesday, the parks aren't really packed, so uh, pick a Wednesday and also pick rainy days. I know that uh, <clears throat> you want to get the most out of your theme park trip and you want the weather to be nice, um, but if you pick a rainy day then your park won't be packed well your park like the park won't be packed with people and you can kind of like I don't know the park you'll have the park all to yourself because the weather isn't like great so go to the beach uh, summer and the beach together are my I've just got a snapchat are my dream like holy crap I'm obsessed with the beach the best place that I would recommend going for the best beach, if that makes sense, is Brighton. Their beach is so good, like it's the best beach I've ever been to in the UK and I've been to a lot of places that have beaches in the UK so, you know. Um, the sea is super clean and so beautiful and they have a pier so if you are a theme park junkie like myself then you can go on the pier and ride the rides and if you are boiling hot like I am right now you can just go on the log flume and you know get a little bit of a soak in uh, they have things like an air race and a roller coaster so and they have arcades as well so you can kind of go on the pier and enjoy yourself and also they have a big wheel literally on the beach so if you go on the wheel on a really nice day then you'll get fantastic views the views are just so beautiful and it's just amazing so I would definitely recommend just like Brighton all together just go to Brighton in the summer honestly it's amazing um, just remember to wear sun cream and SPF to protect you from the sun unless you kind of want to get a little bit of a tan then yeah I suppose you're just gonna try and have to get lucky um, but definitely wear sun cream and SPF to protect you from sunburn because sunburn is horrible it's like the worst thing about summer <laughs> Water parks, water parks are an amazing place to go in summer, again, not the most convenient because it's summer, they're probably going to be packed, but you know, like, I suppose it's worth it because if it's a super hot day and you just want a little bit of a soak in, you want something to kind of cool you down a little bit, then water parks are a great alternative to theme parks, I suppose, if you don't really like rides as much then I suppose water parks would be a great alternative and obviously it will be really warm when you get out of the pool or whatever so you're not kind of standing there too cold uh, or anything like that and yeah it's just really really fun so check out some water parks and water parks aren't too expensive so you know do a little bit of shopping. Shopping in summer isn't actually too bad because 
I feel like shopping centres can get more packed in the winter. I don't know why, maybe because of like Christmas shopping or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just feel like summer is a great time for shopping. I love shopping. I'm a shopping junkie. If I get the opportunity to go shopping, I will. <laughs> like, wherever, whenever. Um, oh, I've got an itchy back. <clears throat> Um, but I will say that I'm not too keen on the Derby into centre. Derby is where I live, if you don't know that. I'm not too keen on the shopping centre. On the... Ah, ah, I can't speak. On the shopping centre. Ah, oh. I'm not too keen on Derby into centre. It's just very... I don't know. I just hate Derby by itself, so... You know, I mean, the shopping centre is better than others and it is good if you are just looking for that one thing then you will be able to get it but I just prefer places like Nottingham or Chesterfield or just anywhere out of Derby basically so, uh, you know, but shopping is a great thing to do in summer I love shopping and you can shop for summer clothes, bikinis, swimming costumes um, you could be shopping for a holiday you might have coming up so... Uh, yeah, if you love shopping as much as I do, do it in the summer. And also, it's great if you're kind of looking for like a last minute thing to do. Like, if you're with your friends and you don't know what to do, let's go shopping. So, you know, you don't really have to like book to go shopping and it's completely free, so... Uh, another great thing to do in the summer are attractions such as Madame Two Swords and Sea Life. Um, these are great for all of the family. They probably won't be too busy in the summer. I mean, they might, they might not. Again, it just depends on your look. But honestly, I'd say just go whether it's busy or not because it's great for all the family. The little kids will enjoy it. Big kids will enjoy it. Adults will enjoy it. Everybody will most likely enjoy it. Uh, and yeah, Madame Two Swords and Sea Life are uh, really great uh, like things to do in summer. Again, the zoo. The zoo will be great as well. So attractions like that. And again, they're not too overly priced uh, depending on which ones you go to. If you were gonna go to the ones, say, in London, then they might be a tiny bit more expensive. But I have only been to the one in Blackpool. I've only been to Madame Two Swords in Blackpool and that wasn't expensive at all. <clears throat> and I've been to a Sea Life in Birmingham and that wasn't expensive. So, like, you know, they're not too overly priced and the whole family will enjoy them, so. A great thing to do in summer. Also the pier, if anywhere you live has a pier then please go to it, you can just either sit there and relax with an ice cream or if the pier has rides then go on the rides, go in the arcades, you know like just anything, just go on the pier because a pier is such like a great thing to do in summer. I know that like Spending a day on the pier will probably only last you about one or two hours, but you know, it is something to do. So I suppose that kind of fits in with the beach. If you were just relaxing on the beach and you wanted to do something a bit more fun, a bit more active, then a pier is a great option. I was going to say choice. I suppose it is. A pier is a great option. Choice. <laughs> so um, I think that's everything that I can think of right now. I'm just kind of looking around see if there's anything yeah I suppose that's about it again the UK is quite limited to attractions and stuff oh trampoline parks trampoline parks are great maybe not so much in the summer maybe they're more of a spring thing but you know trampoline parks they're there if you have one in your city uh, yeah so I guess that that's everything I have for you Um sorry that there wasn't very many it's just like the UK is quite limited on attraction on attractions such as like theme parks and stuff like that so yes I hope that this has helped you to plan for the summer I've I have got a whole list of places that I want to go in the summer so hopefully uh, that will happen fingers crossed 
and uh, yeah, I just hope that you guys found this useful in a way. You probably didn't. Yeah, nah, I can't speak. You probably didn't find this useful, but if one of you did, then great. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and comment below some things that you're up to in summer, or any like places or attractions or whatever. Uh, for other people to go to in summer then that'll be really great uh, don't forget to check my vlog channel out it's Zoe Boo. I'll leave it in a link down below because I am daily vlogging in the summer don't forget to subscribe for new videos every weekend and I'll see you guys next week for another video goodbye I love you